Edexcel A-Level Maths Statistics Summer 2019 Question 2 The partially completed box plot in Figure 1 shows the distribution of daily mean air temperatures using the data from the large data set for Beijing in 2015. An outlier is defined as a value more than 1.5 times the interquartile range below Q1 or more than 1.5 times the interquartile range above Q3. The three lowest air temperatures in the data set are 7.6, 8.1 and 9.1 degrees C and the highest air temperature in the data set is 32.5 degrees C. For part A we need to complete the box plot in figure 1 showing clearly any outliers. So the first thing to do is to work out what those outliers are. So our interquartile range is the upper quartile read from the partially completed box plot, so the right hand side of the box is 26.6, minus the lower quartile of 19.4, again read from the diagram, it's about 7.2. We'll then use our definitions for our limits for the outliers, which is the 1.5 times the interquartile range below or above. So the lower limit is the lower quartile, 19.4, minus 1.5 times our 7.2, so 8.6. And the upper limit is the upper quartile, 26.6, add 1.5 times 7.2, so 37.4. Now let's look at our lowest air temperatures. So 7.6 and 8.1, they're both lower than our lower limit, so they must be outliers. So the lowest air temperature within the box plot must be the 9.1, so we've made that the left-hand whisker, 9.1. Whereas the two lower ones, the 7.6 and the 8.1, we've put little crosses to show that they are outliers. The highest temperature, 32.5, that's well within the upper limit. So that becomes the right hand edge of our box plot, as you can see on the diagram. Now for part B, we need to use our knowledge of the large data set to suggest from which month the two outliers are likely to have come. So our two outliers are cold, 7.6 and 8.1. So it looks like these are from October because this is the month with the coldest temperatures in the data set. Using the data from the large data set, Simon produced the following summary statistics for the daily mean air temperature, X degrees C, for Beijing in 2015. So he had that N is 184, sum of X is 4153.6 and SXX equals 4952. 0.906. We need to show that to three significant figures, the standard deviation is 5.19 degrees C. To do this, we're going to use our formula for standard deviation, which is the square root of SXX over N. We've picked this formula because it fits with the values we've been given. So substituting in our values, we've got the square root of 4,952.906 over 184 which is 5.188 and so on, which to three significant figures rounds to 5.19 as required. Simon decides to model the air temperatures with the random variable T as a normal distribution of mean 22.6, standard deviation 5.19. We need to use Simon's model to calculate the 10th to 90th interpercentile range. So, we think of our normal graph, if we can work out the area up to and including the 10th percent, and we take this away from the area up to including the 90th percent, we'll be left with the 10th to 90th interpercentile range. And we're going to do this using the inverse normal function on our calculator. So here's our normal distribution. Using the calculator, we're going to put in an area of 0.1 to find the area up to the 10th percent along with our mean and standard deviation given in the distribution, this will give us a value of 15.948747. To find the 90th percentile, we're going to do exactly the same thing, but this time it's an area of 0.9. We get 29.251253. Taking these away from each other gives us an answer of 13.3 to one decimal place. Now Simon wants to model another variable from the large data set for Beijing using a normal distribution. We need to state two variables from the large data set for Beijing that are not suitable to be modelled by a normal distribution. And we need to give a reason for each answer. So looking at the large data set, we can see that the rainfall wouldn't be suitable 
because it's not symmetrical and a normal distribution is. You can see on the data set there are a lot of zeros for rainfall, hence why it jumps out as not being symmetrical. We also can't use the daily wind speed, the Beaufort conversion, because this is qualitative. It's given in words, not numbers. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.